Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. This is the part two of Azure Databricks series. In the previous video, we have discussed about the purpose of Azure Data Factory and the components of Azure Data Factory. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can start work on Azure Databricks. So, even before moving into that Azure Databricks environment, let's first uh, talk about Databricks. So Databricks basically is a separate entity or I can say separate company. And it is just associated with, the, with these cloud services like GCP, Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure. So you can integrate or uh, I can say Databricks is basically just integrated into all these things. Before this Databricks also exists. So Databricks basically is an American enterprise software company founded by the creators of Apache Spark. So who were the creators of Apache Spark? They have founded the Databricks. Databricks basically developed a web-based platform for working with Spark that provides automated cluster management and Python style notebooks. So if you work on Jupyter, so you must have idea about uh, IPython style notebooks. If you don't have, then don't worry about it. We will going to discuss. So basically it provides a, you know, uh, web-based notebook where you can write different uh, language like Python, R, Scala, and uh, you can start creating your uh, data processing or, you know, data transformation as per the requirement. And it also have automated cluster management. So you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, like auto scaling or auto terminating mean meaning like uh, whenever you run your notebook. So you have one cluster and on the top of it, you will run the notebook. Cluster is nothing. Cluster, you can uh, basically uh, understand cluster is a combination of different nodes. So one cluster can have one node or multiple nodes. And uh, if I talk about nodes, so node is nothing. Node is just machine. So let me tell you again briefly. So basically we have cluster. And in cluster we may have, let's say node 1 and uh, node 2 node 3 okay so node 1 is nothing node 1 is you can uh, um, understand or you can uh, basically treat this as an uh, one machine one machine means one laptop okay so similarly one cluster have multiple machines and uh, your notebook run on this cluster. Okay. Now, whenever uh, you have to write any code, so before writing, uh, you know, or before starting work on notebook, first you have to create a cluster. And uh, in that cluster, you have to define the configuration, like the RAM size and the other details. And it will automatically terminate whenever it is unavailable, whenever, uh, you know, data is not processing or it is automatically auto scale. So suppose uh, there are huge amount of data is processing. So it will automatically auto scale. So that's what means automated. And if it is, uh, you know, not using, it is automatic terminate. So you don't need to pay when it is not available. So this is uh, the meaning of automated cluster management and IPython style node. Okay. Now let's move back in the notebook. Yeah. Now suppose if anybody want to explore Databricks, Azure Databricks or Google Databricks or, you know, uh, AWS Databricks, but he don't have access like he, he like uh, for some, for, for some reason, he was not able to access, not able to access maybe all of these because it is uh, payable 
for that we need to pay so if we use data breaks here so we need to pay but data breaks company itself provide a option to explore the function or explore the different uh, you know uh, components of data breaks for 14 days free trial period so in data breaks you can basically explore and uh, after that uh, you can uh, like if you have option to upgrade so you can upgrade into all these things so let me tell you how you can uh, you know create this 14 days account so let's go back into the google so you just need to click on databricks okay Af uh, after uh, basically uh, you type databricks on google you will get this option try free for 14 days so you will click here and after that you can click here get started for free and you can put the details let's say netia cloud tech freelance dw bi and then company netia cloud tech title let's say azure and uh, yeah get started for free yeah so what it is saying don't have a cloud account community addition is a limited data rich environment for personal use and training get started with community addition by clicking uh, get started with community addition so let me click here so now it is asking me to thank you for signing up please validate your email address so let me open the my email address so see i got the mail welcome to databricks and i can we need you to verify so i can click on this link so it will be verify I need to enter the password so I can give password you can give accordingly as per your comfort you can provide the password too So see, now Databricks account is created. I have option here. I can create bulk space. Uh, I have different option, compute, workflow, help, setting. And uh, if I need to upgrade, so I can click here on upgrade and I can upgrade in, you know, GCP, Azure or, uh, you know, Google Cloud. If you see here, we have notebook and we have tutorial here and transform data data import auto ml so all these things we have documentation we can uh, basically uh, you know go through the document we have release notes different so we can learn all these things i will try to explain uh, in the next video what exactly is the components associated with it i hope this is helpful thank you everyone